Today we're looking at the 2022 New South Wales Country Champs Men's Open Grand Final. Oh, how about that? It's even better. Count of the day, count of the hour. That is sensational. Country Champs Grand Final. Basically, every team in New South Wales outside of Sydney is invited to attend. This is the Grand Final of the Men's Open. Doyleson with the ball versus Central Coast. First try, second phase. And Doyleson are over. Let's have a look at this first one. Okay, so it looks like a punish play. Now, a punish play... Let me get my trusty pen going. Punish play is a link middle. Um, uh, sorry, it's a link middle short side quickie. Uh, so a lot of people call it a QL. Okay, so quickie link. Um, the idea is to give it to your link, and he takes on this defender who's pulling corner and just tries to score at his feet. Okay, with this, the other defenders come across in cover. But what Doyleson have done here is, as you can see, we'll go forward slow motion. Uh, the dummy half is actually countering momentum, and he's going to give an out ball. So this defender is going in, and they're going to shift the momentum to go out, which is what he does. There's the out ball here. Defensively, excellent. This link, who's normally marking this player, has got a read on it. As soon as he sees the dummy half shape to pass, he jams in because he knows this defender here is not going to be able to turn and chase. So if he doesn't jam that, it's basically a three on two and you're holding for a three on two. So he, he destroys it before it happens. But again, what's good about this is Doyleson, dummy half here has followed his pass and it's going to be a quick play the ball for what we call a second phase. Now if he can get a quick play the ball off, this player here is unmarked. Uh, and, and unless the winger jams in, it's an easy it's an easy pass over the top as well. So we get the second phase play of the ball. Dummy half uh, almost gets touched, but he gets the pass away and it's a try. That's what we call second phase. Perfect example. Central Coast look like they hit back next. I thought that was an open side quickie then. Oh, this is a cool little play. We haven't touched this play. Well, we we haven't uh, really spoken about something like this before. So they shape for what's called an ML. Okay, so an ML is like a short side rooster. The dummy half will give to the 99, who's running forward. 99's the link. He runs forward at the offside defender, and then he will either cut short or cut open, depending on what that defender does. That's your typical ML play. Uh, the dummy half will then wrap around. However, what happens here is because the defensive... These two guys are getting a good position and on the touch. They're getting back on side. They can then move forward, and they're going to be nice and tight to make sure that that number 99 doesn't dive at their feet. So what Central Coast do, they dummy to 99 here, and they give basically a reverse quickie to the bloke playing the ball. Now, the idea for that is he's too tight. He's going to gas him for speed. So like the out ball, defense has to pretty much get a read on this and jam it. This doesn't happen... However, this defender here is actually really good at recovering. So he does that. But what Central Coast do here is you can see that this link defender, his momentum is moving outwards because he knows that he has to chase his player. But together, in unison, they will both go this way and then cut back short, uh, cut back towards the open. And because they do that together, the defensive team, they just can't react as quickly. There's the dummy, and then they cut back. Okay, so he's gone from a line here into the hole. Okay, and by the time the defensive uh, player is able to react, he's already through. That's um, it's a, it's a nice, well-structured play, and it, it takes a lot of practice because you've got to be completely in sync with each other. Okay, slow it. Look like they double up again. Cindy on the middle. All right. This play here. So we call it a Cindy or a middle sweep. Or a cowboy. I've heard a lot of different things, but it's basically a sweeper, but it's the middle sweeping because these are the two middles there. Okay, so if you've got your middle, your middle all the way up, there's no problem with the link hanging back here, okay, and the middle just being brave and making that touch. If the link does want to present himself and make the touch, this middle has to be going back and getting on side. They can't both be caught at this ruck, but because they are. Because they're both up towards that ruck. Now he can give it to the sweeper, who can take take on this player and score. And it's very hard for him to cover because he's already offside. Or the dummy half can run because the middle's offside as well. So his options actually, they're both good because the two players are involved in the ruck. So he does take the option of running from dummy half. 
And he does a little pump. He kind of half dummies, which keeps the width away from the from the link. This player will then shut down. And because of that little pump, it's just opened up that mid middle link channel um, for the player to run through. And there it is. Nice little Cindy. Cindy play on the link, on the middle. If you do it on the link, you give to the sweep. If you do it on the middle, you run. But in this case, both were offside. So uh, he could take his pick. Doylson now with some strong rucking. Nice angle change here from dummy half. Now, it's very subtle what he does here, but it's it's super effective. Pokemon reference. So, he takes off straight. He takes off straight. He's basically running between the two middles. Now, again, one, two players, both in the touch, both offside. Big no. A lot of unused space behind him. So, he takes off straight. And what does that do? It squares this defender up. As soon as he starts squaring up, bang, off his left foot. And because you're running backwards, you can't compete with that. So, as you can see, player has now straightened up. And you can sort of see the way his leg is planted. It's going to be buckled. And he's still offside. So the angle's changed now. And he just can't compete. Okay, and he ends up falling over. Now pretty much what it is is you try to find some just some open grass. But you don't really want to go too far into the end goal as a support runner. You want to stay around that try line. If you go into the end goal, you're just going to run into him. And your defender's going to be able to touch the, the guy with the ball. So stay away from him. Stay around on the line. Let's go on further. That was a try, by the way. I think this one here is, an, is, a, is a play that is probably a very risky play because in theory it is illegal. This actually is a no try. But you do get away with it from time to time. It's not the play that I'd do if you were two all. It's the play that I would do if you were down two with three minutes to go and you were looking just to find a cheap try out of desperation. Okay, so what happens here? <laughs> Spoiler alert, Sydney Mets run this play a little bit. Um, the dump, middle link, or it doesn't matter how it gets there. It's a it's a dump on the middle, and your middle link are the in the ruck. This player here dumping the ball will use his body moving forward and block that defender from covering the inside. So the defender's going to pull corner, but once he knows the ball has gone this way straight away, he needs to turn and close that gap. But because the guy playing the ball... He's put his body there, okay? This player will chase the ball outwards when the ball's passed, but because this guy is basically unable to close the gap, the middle hole will just open up. So as we see this, chasing out, okay? He's passed out, he's gonna follow his pass. Defender is basically obstructed, and that's how the hole opens up in the middle. So the referee knew something was up straight away. He blew time off. And was confirmed by the this referee running across now. So, yep, that was a no try. Obstruction. Excuse me. Probably a cheeky try to try in juniors because of the, the referees are uh, junior referees. But well-experienced referees will get that. Another try from Doylson. Bit of an unlucky one here from um, Central Coast. So it's an open side quickie. All right, so we're trying to catch these defenders really tight and just... Hammer him this way and get the three on two. There it is there. And you can see this defender here in turning to chase. He does lose his footing. And once he loses his footing, this defender needs to come in and jam. And so does the winger. Okay, because he's not dummy half. He can score a try, this, this player about to catch the ball. But what needed to happen with the defense in a perfect world is this link here needed to just come up as soon as he could read that that was a reverse quickie. Okay, because we can't expect our tight middle to be covering this gap for a quickie dive and then that out ball for a reverse quickie. He needs some help from his outside. It's very hard to get a read. It is an extremely tough um, thing when, you, when you're thinking as a link about so many things. But as a middle, middle dump, all you want to be thinking is, is this a reverse quickie? If so, I'm going to hit it. Okay, so Central Coast got the ball now. Looks like a rooster with some speed. Okay. Simple. Okay, you can see the body position from the toucher here. So a rooster play, uh, middle link dump, just in case you don't know it, middle link dump with the following middle running nice hard direct line. He gets a pop pass from the dummy half who runs around. He can then attack this player here who's pulling corner. And if he wants to go open side for the four on three, that's fine. Now he runs the rooster here at pace and he arcs and curves his angle around uh, in hope to basically just run this guy off his feet, uh, which means the other middle will have to come in 
and shut it down. Um, maybe a bit of miscommunication here because it looks like he thinks that his fellow defender has been able to recover, so he pushes out. But he probably could have stepped off the line. Very experienced defender, this player from Doylson here. But sometimes we're just thinking about too much as what's happening with the ball. We forget we must be moving off the line. If he moves off the line, he can now come in to make this touch and help out with the touch. Because now, moving off the line, this pass, very difficult to make because they're basically behind one another. If he stays on the line, he can give that pass a lot easier because he can run into the line as this guy arcs out further. Okay, so it's always something to remember, move off that try line. And he finds the gap in the middle. Wow, okay, I've just realized something. I was wondering why this player is not normally a middle. I was wondering why he was in the middle. I have just seen that Doyleson had a player in the bin. Let's see if that's correct. Yep, 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 we get it. We get it, there's arrows. There's a lot of arrows. What have I done? Yeah, with me. Yeah, there he is. Okay. Well, <laughs> okay. That becomes a whole different story, but let's just pretend for the sake of this analysis that this guy is a middle and he does have two players out in front of him. So now I can completely understand why he's defending like that. Um, but yeah, just for the analysis, that's what we need to remember when, when any, any team's running a four on three at us, whether it's a rooster or a dummy half, uh, running, scoot, counties, whatever. So, okay. so now I know why he scored on a rooster nice and quickly. So they seem to be back at six on six now. Just a quickie. Oh, nice hold up. Or have they got five on as well? Maybe Central Coast have got five on now. These highlights are really stuffing me around. Okay, well, okay. For this one, we're going to talk about what to do when you've got five on the field. Because, well, we should have covered that last time. So, in a perfect world, you don't want this guy to make the touch. And I'll explain why. Because he cannot just reverse. He has to pull a corner. But now, because you don't have three defenders on one side and two on the other, as soon as you go one way, you're leaving a three on two, no matter what. Okay? So what he needs to do is, if he's going to make the touch, if they split this way with the ball, he has to go with it. So once his momentum starts going this way to protect the side that the ball's on, you counter back the other side with the ball. Okay, so you run a quarterback. That's a very nice play. Uh, but when we're defending, what I would recommend, these two guys get nice and high. They don't go too far in. And then this guy stays what's called in the eye. So he stays back here. And he can then become sort of a covering player. This guy makes a touch. He can still pull corner. This guy can cover any space that's left in the middle. It's... It's not a perfect situation, but in my opinion, you get better results doing that than sending out the, the middle guy. So as we see in slow motion, there's the touch. See how he's pulled back that way because it's the side the ball's gone? He's probably pulled a little bit too far. He probably could have pulled at an angle like here. But anyway, the ball's gone here and then the ball's been ripped back. Now these guys have done good not to just come up too far and start moving out, uh, but it does leave a gap and a gap here. And there's over the top. Oh, it's a short ball and over the top. Okay? So that's just what I recommend uh, when... I'm getting a lot of messages. That's what I recommend when uh, defending five on six. Um, I don't expect that whatever you run, as long as you expect that you, do, you are at a disadvantage, so it's not going to stop everything. <clears throat> middle, middle switch. <clears throat> this is a um, this is a play that you normally see someone like, like a New Zealand team run. I play with a couple of um, New Zealanders at, at social, and they run this on you, and it's so hard to defend, and they do it so well. So it's a reverse quickie shape, not necessarily a reverse quickie, but the dummy half. So he splits in, he's going to straighten up. Dummy half is going to curl around here in hopes that this player will attempt to recover and then curl around and chase him. Okay? But this line actually changes from the dumper. They go this way, but then they come back around deep. It's just a counter of the momentum because all the momentum is going to start shifting this way from the defense. And all of a sudden, they run a deep switch. Just to counter that for a little three on two. So as you can see, the defenders are all moving this way now. The number four is actually doing his best to recover. And this player is now going to come. And it's very, it's very important to be deep in this switch because if number four gets off the line and your switch is too shallow, he can touch both players. All right, so make sure we're nice and deep on that switch. 
Okay. And the link jams in, but is a little bit too late. Wing has done well, but it was a nice touchback. So nice little, I'm not sure if we have a name for it. To be honest, it's just a middle, middle switch. I think I've heard it being called an apples or something. Uh, anyway, it's just a middle, middle, open side, dummy half run, late switch. Coast has got the ball now, not long left. They've made it through. Someone's hurt himself, but anyway, let's have a look at this. Ah, okay, so defensively, they're probably going through a little, a little bit through the motions here, Dawson, because they may have thought, because they're so far away from that seven meter line, which is down here, that this was the last touch. Uh, this was, the sorry, only the fourth touch. And then they're worrying about the dump that's coming next. But as you can see, the referee's got it, like his hand up, signifying fifth. And because it's fifth, they've got both middles making the touch, which is probably not what you want. Because now the dumper splits and he straightens up and he ends up just beating the number 10 here who's making the touch for speed. That's all it is. It's just a middle, middle, step in. Half takes off, just gives it, and it's just a foot race. So I'm not sure if they just thought that there was another dump coming, which meant they weren't going to try and just gas them straight away. Um, but yeah, that, that's what happened there. So Nice bit of eyes up from, from Central Coast to identify that, that that middle was sort of taking it a little bit easy in defense. But in the end, uh, from what I gather, this is the score that remains. Let's have a look. I'm just very lingering on this. Is it? Yep. Ends up 5-4 to Doylson. So this was um, actually a big big victory for Dawson because a lot of people had Central Coast as the favorites. They just come come off a very successful Vorden Cup campaign and had played a lot of touch footy together. Um, but yeah, Doylson came out and, and beat him in the grand final. So it was a, a really nice game to watch and um, I'm sure we'll get a lot of big games between these two two clubs in the, in the coming stages of 2023. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video of Touchscreen. Thank you. Bye.